Hi guys, I just wanted to make a quick video to say what's been happening. Um, hi guys, I just wanted to make a quick video to say what's been happening. Um, I made a video um, telling you guys I'm selling my iPad um, because I needed a bigger memory for it and it had this fault with it where it was like doing this blue bar across the screen constantly when I was watching videos and it was really, really annoying. So I decided to sell it and I made a video on here um, so that you guys could get the opportunity to buy it if you wanted to. Anyway, um, I did say in the video, if anyone knew what was wrong with it, if they could like comment and let me know, because it could be something really minor or it could be something, you know, really a real problem with the iPad. Anyway, someone left a comment, one of my subscribers left a message or a comment um, on the video, um, and I think their name was Almighty God. Amazing God Almighty. I think it was God Almighty or almighty god one of those names anyway this person left a comment and they said oh it's a simple thing you just get rid of settings change this 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 and it'll go away anyway so i went into settings and i did it and i was absolutely blown away because it worked um, basically what i had done um i'd messing about with the settings a few months back and i'd obviously put on auto scan where the ipad like automatically scans itself so, um, so silly. Um, yeah, so I, t I turned it off, turned off auto scan, and it's gone. It's gone. So I'm so grateful to you, almighty God, God almighty, whatever your name is. I'm so grateful to you um, for helping me because basically I feel like I've gained an iPad. I've gone from having a faulty iPad to a fully functioning iPad. By just pressing a few buttons and I wouldn't know that if you hadn't have told me um, so I'm so so thankful to you for that um, and yeah I'm just so grateful so thank you so much and thank you to all my other subscribers because I love all my subscribers so much because I know that if any of them had the information like this person did they would happily give it to me and then you know helping me and it's just amazing because I've met some amazing people on YouTube um, I've had so many people give me some amazing advice and help in situations and this is an example of that. So I'm just so grateful and so happy. So I did consider once I realised that my iPad is fixed that um, I might keep it. But um, me and my husband discussed it and um, I really still do need something with bigger memory. And I deleted everything off it and I'd gone to all this time like getting it ready for selling it and then I'd done all that and then I thought you know I can't be bothered I've deleted everything off here um and I've like thought that I was going to get a new iPad so I'm thinking actually I think I will still sell it and I'm very happy because I've gone from possibly only getting a small amount of money for it because it was faulty to now I could probably get you know quite a bit more for it now that it's like fully functioning nothing wrong with it kind of thing anyway so um my iPad is an iPad 2, it's a couple of years old, it has a few tiny cosmetic scratches, scuffs on the back, there's a hairline scratch on the front of the screen which doesn't affect the screen at all. Um, it works perfectly and now it doesn't have the blue bar, <laughs> you know, it's nothing. So um, yeah, it's this um, really amazing iPad which I'm obsessed with, I love my iPad. Sorry about that guys. Anyway, so yes, um, perfectly functioning iPad, still want to sell it. Still going to put it on eBay, um, and what I'll do is I'll either make another video showing my iPad again, or what I'd probably do, which is easier, is just insert a few clips and some pictures of the scuffs and the scratch so you can see it for yourself. And then, um, yeah, so I'll do that, and then um, I'll let you know when the auction is up on eBay, and then you can go and bid on there and if anyone is interested if you could private message me because I don't get a chance to go through my comments very often so I'm more likely to see if somebody wants to um, discuss it with me or is interested private message me um, so that I can do that and um, that's it I think hi guys so here is the iPad that I am selling um, it's the white one it is an iPad 2 um, and it's the 16 gig and um, you know it's quite a few years old but it's in really good condition it has got a few scratches and scuffs on there which I'm going to show you in a minute it's just a really really nice big iPad I mean it's really really thin 
but um, it's got a decent sized screen on it and obviously if you know anything about iPads then you'll know about it anyway but I thought I would just go around it a few minutes for you guys for people who don't know much about iPads if you've never had one so this is the front and um, the reason I've chosen this darker lighting to show you this is because I wanted to show you there's a slight hairline scratch on the front of the screen and um, in the other lightings it wasn't showing up on my camera so you couldn't see it and I just wanted to make sure that you could all see the scratch for yourself so that um, you know you could know what you're what's on here and it doesn't affect the iPad at all it's you know it doesn't affect the quality of the um, screen when you're using it or when you're watching a video or anything like that um, and in other lightings like you probably wouldn't see it at all but in this lighting um, you will see it better so if I tilt the screen up and there's a few fingerprints <laughs> on the screen which is a bit inevitable really but I've tried to like wipe it off a little bit but there is some um, fingerprints and smudges on there so if I tilt the um, screen up slightly you should see there at the bottom of the screen a really fine hairline scratch and it's it looks really big on the screen now whilst I'm filming it but it um, it ends about here I think from there um, but it's what's called a hairline scratch because it's not really gone into, I mean it's a scratch so it's obviously scratched it but like it's not like deep into the screen so it doesn't affect the um, the screen at all which I was quite lucky about. And there's another tiny, I don't know if you can see it, see how much difficult, there's a tiny little one here as well. I'll try and lift that up for you, if you can see, there we go. See how much difficulty I'm having like trying to show you the scratch and then my lampshades <laughs> in the footage as well so you've got these little hairline scratches and there's some lovely fingerprints of mine over here um, but you can see that there's no other scratches on there um, and this lighting really shows up the screen um, like I said there's some fingerprints on there and there's the scratch at the bottom this is the home button which kind of you use this to do everything to do with the iPad really in terms of functioning and it just takes you back to the main menu at all times. There's the front camera um, which I love because you can do forward facing videos and there's a, a rear facing camera as well. So that's it for the front and then if I flip it over onto the back you will see um, that there are a few scuffs and scratches, there's quite a few actually, um, into like the paint this is like silver coated paint on the back here and there's you know just generally if I lift it up for you you can see better the um, scratches there well it's less scratches than like scuffs where the paint's been scuffed a little bit and um, you know when it's like from a distance you know obviously you can still see them but it doesn't look bad it still looks in quite good condition like as you can see anyway guys so that's the iPad from the outside so um, what the iPad will be coming with is the charger here I have this black case here it's like, just like a soft case it didn't come with the iPad it's just something that you can keep it in to keep it um, protected um, it's really soft inside there so the screen doesn't get scuffed and um, I don't have the original well I have the original box it came in but it's up the loft somewhere and I don't know if I can find it but I will look for it for you guys so if you decide to buy this iPad you will um, have the um, box to go with it but if not my brother has um, the box for his old iPad 4 I think he's got and um, he said that I can use it to put this iPad in so that it'll have a box whilst it's being transported and I'll make sure that it's all packaged really well so it doesn't get damaged in transit um, I don't know what else to say about it really guys I'll definitely leave some pictures and I'll leave a little message for the winning bidder ok guys thank you again so much and I will speak to you all soon see you later guys bye